Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to the Sweetwater Minute. This week on the Sweetwater Minute, we are joined by Fab DuPont. Good morning. Engineer, producer, mixer, and now video producer and educator with Pure Mix website. Correct. This is your second time on the Sweetwater Minute. That's true. You're a repeat offender. Uh, yes. What if we let you back? It's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for coming back. We're glad you're here. It's my pleasure. So tell us what Pure Mix is. Pure Mix is a high-end audio tutorial website. Okay. It is designed to pass on the craft of making records, recording audio, to the new engineers and the new producers. Okay. The, in the past, if you wanted to learn how to make a record, you quit high school against your parents' advice. <laughs> you would, uh, and then you would go work for free in a studio for four or five years. You would start by cleaning bathrooms, then you would be promoted to making coffee, and then you would, after a year or so, you'd be promoted to be in the control room and told to say nothing and just watch for mm -hmm. another year. Then maybe after a year, you'd touch a cable. And then you would be watching for years before you would be doing anything. Mm -hmm. And that's how you learn the craft. Right. Since all the big studios are gone, or most of the big studios are gone, most and, are and the, the seats as interns and assistants in the big studios are incredibly expensive, literally mm -hmm. both in time and in money. Uh, there is no, that way to learn, which has been the best way to learn, has been gone. The audio schools are great. Uh, they teach you the basics, they teach you the theory, but they don't teach you the experience of being in the studio, and also they don't teach you what's not in the manual. Mm -hmm. They teach you what an XLR is, they teach you what Pro Tools or Logic is. They don't teach you how to make a great sounding bass drum. They don't teach you how to make an 1176 give color to a tone, because mm -hmm. that's something that you learn in the field. Mm -hmm. So what Pure Mix does is it takes all that knowledge base that is no longer available, packages it in very tight videos, short and tight videos, and lets you learn that way. Right. It's like being an assistant to a crafting engineer, right. and uh, only the engineer actually speaks his mind while he works, mm -hmm. which I do because I'm crazy, but most other <laughs> engineers wouldn't. So, um, so it's, it's a shortcut to, to learning how to make records. Right. Now you've got, on the site, you've got a really wide range of, of topics up there. It's not just, this is where to place a microphone. You've got things on how to set up sessions. You've mm -hmm. got things on how to organize your sessions in Pro Tools or whatever software you're working in. You've got things on processing audio and editing and mixing. So the whole entire thing is covered there. Now, are, are you doing all these videos yourself or do you have other engineers, producers you're working with? It started as just me. Mm -hmm. uh, it started, it was very informal. You know, I did a couple, I have friends, uh, I know how to explain stuff fairly well. So I had friends, you know, my friends at Sonox and my friends at Andrews call and say, hey, you know, you know how to speak about that stuff. You know, can we put a video up and, and right. then help us out? Mm -hmm. Sure, since they helped me out, I helped them out. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we saw hundreds of thousands of views on those videos. I was like, hmm. So then we did another one, then we did another one. And then one of my assistants said, you know, you should really do this because it's very useful. This is how I learned how to make music is watching your videos and right. that's very nice. So we, we turn it into a package. So it started as me, but then we're expanding uh, because there are many more ways than ones to do any, any each thing in the sure. process. So there's many ways to record vocals. There's mm -hmm. many ways to EQ a bass drum. There's many ways to set up your sessions. There's many, many opinions. So right now the site, well, not right now, but at the beginning the site started as m my view on things. And my view on things is very generalistic. It's very overview and it's very philosophical. Mm -hmm. We are bringing in new uh, engineers who have their own thing. Like I won't pretend that I know how to make a country record. It won't sound very country. Mm -hmm. It may be sound entertaining, but definitely not very country. <laughs> sure. So um, we will. We we are working on videos where there is a true, genuine, vetted, great country music engineer who's going to come and explain specific things for that mm -hmm. realm, and then same for hip hop, and say for rock and roll, and say you know we're just going to. It's all the styles. It's just expanding the mm -hmm. styles and also different techniques. Mm -hmm. I like to record drums with four microphones. That's what I like, mm -hmm. you know? I'll put six under a gun, right? Uh, I have friends who record drums with 26 microphones. Sure. I would never do that in a million years. But they would, and they're very successful, and they're very good at it. Mm -hmm. There's no reason for me to filter that information. I want all the information to be on Pure Mix, and right. that's where we're going. Right, right. So it's clear that you put a lot of work into these videos. I mean, the videos look great, but they also sound great. So when you go there and you're listening to, for example, I was watching your video on, on how to use the 1176 and how to get color from it and the different uh, compression techniques you can do using that, that piece of gear, which, by the way, is a great video because I think people think of that as just a simple box and you put it at the Dr. Pepper settings and that's the end of it. But it does a lot more than that, and your video is great at that. But anyway, compliments aside, mm -hmm. um, do people need special equipment to listen back to these videos to get the most out of them? Or how, how are you going to get the most learning experience from those videos? Very good question. 
The whole site is designed so that every single video is normalized on minus 18 dB FS digital, mm -hmm. which means that there is 18 dBs of headroom on the video side. For people who've, been, who've gone to YouTube and have listened to or watched um, how to EQ, for example, video on YouTube, you can barely tell before and after right. because of the insane compression of YouTube and the super low fidelity. The way we've done it on PureMix is we c coded a custom player that's designed to prioritize audio. Mm -hmm. So no matter what, you'll get super high-res audio. We made sure that what you hear at home is what I hear in my studio. Right. So when I put 1 dB of compression on a bass drum, you can hear it. And I point to you and say, listen to this. This is how it feels. Can you hear it? Mm -hmm. And I will train you to hear it. And that's the key. It's to form your taste and to form your vision on the sound. Right. So to do that, we had to have super high-quality sound. We have HD video with 720p. And it looks great, mm -hmm. but our priority is sound. Mm -hmm. So no matter what you do, you listen to Pure Mix on your laptop or on your desktop through your DAW system. So what we recommend is say you use Logic with uh, an Apogee Duet. Mm -hmm. and just make sure that the output of your browser goes through the Duet too. And that way you can work in Logic, do some EQ on the sessions because you can download the sessions from Pure Mix. Mm -hmm. If I'm showing you a mix, the files are available to you to mix it at home too. So awesome. you can mix along. And so you can take that bass drum or you can take that vocal and you have it in your DAW. You switch to Logic, you do your thing, you switch back to your browser, you watch me do it, mm -hmm. or you watch whomever is on Pure Mix do it right. at the same level through the same converters. You can really hear the difference between, between what you're doing and what the professional is doing. And that's priceless. And everything is leveled in such a way that it's at the same level as your DAW and it's coming out through the same converter as your DAW. It's just a very quick setup and yeah. any computer can do that. It's very close to just sitting in the same room. That's the point. You, uh, it's like it. shadowing an engineer. Mm -hmm. It's really great. Um, a friend of mine said, you know, I would have paid a fortune to be able to sit next to an engineer. Just say nothing. Just sit and watch for a week. Right. Well, for you know, 30 bucks a month or even 22 bucks a month, you can sit behind a whole bunch of engineers mm -hmm. doing really crazy things on really great songs with great music, amazing talent, and it's really cheap, and you can just do it online. Yeah, right, right. You also are supporting, or not supporting, but you're using a variety of different things. So you're not just using hardware, you're not just using plugins, you're not just using Pro Tools, you've got a variety of different platforms. And so whatever production techniques and gear people are using, they're going to find something of use there at PureMix. Uh, absolutely. We don't do Enter Contact 12. We don't do that. Mm -hmm. Because there are other people who do that very, very well. Mm -hmm. um, what we do is, in that particular example we do, this is how you think about using a sampler. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we are one level higher, which means that if you use contact or you use the AXX24, the information in the PureMix video is going to be relevant to both. Right. We do give tips. If I'm doing a video in Pro Tools, I'll show some Pro Tools specific tips. If mm -hmm. I'm doing a video in Logic, I'll show Logic or Cubase or what have you. I'll show some plugin specific tips. But the bulk of the information is high level information that's applicable to everything. Right. And that's what I think is missing. What's missing is ancillary deep knowledge about the reasons why the tools are the way they are, which allow you to adapt to any tool. Mm -hmm. There's going to be another plugin tomorrow. Do you want to watch another video about this particular plugin? I don't. Right. I want to know why the plugin is the way it is because I have this experience from all these other plugins or all these other pieces of hardware. I know I put all that information together because I looked at it from the higher level. And then right. I can apply that knowledge to just about, just about anything. Right. Once you understand what a compressor is and what a ratio control does, it applies to any compressor that you're going to work with of we, any type. We have a three-part series coming out on compression that's mm -hmm. going to shake things up a little bit. Nice. Um, and it's really based on high-level knowledge of what compression does and how you think about compression. Compression is overwhelming. Mm -hmm. You're in front of a compressor. It's got eight knobs. Even 1176, it's got two knobs and four buttons mm -hmm. that are useful. You can really screw it up rapidly. I mean, you could really make a mess within 1176 in about five seconds flat, sure. right? Sure. So how do you think about it? Well, if you know the basics of compression and if you know how they've been applied to that machine, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Then you'll be able to use a real 1176 or any of the plugins that imitate it or any of the compressors that have been derived from 1176 if you have the high level information. Right. If I teach you just that, what that button does, you stuck to that machine. Mm -hmm. If I teach you why it does that, you can do any machine. That's what the PMX right. spirit is about. Right, it's a great approach.
great approach. We hope so. Now, subscriptions to PureMix.net are available through Sweetwater. Absolutely. So at Sweetwater.com yep. or through your sales engineer. Through the sales engineer. Right. You can get a three-month, six-month, or a one-year subscription, correct? Correct. Yes. Right. And um, there's a Sweetwater difference. Mm -hmm. uh, if you buy a subscription from the Sweetwater sales engineer or the website, you get an extra month for free. Nice. So that's very nice. Yeah. Um, and then you can have a conversation with the sales engineer and he can guide you to what you need to watch first and what order to watch them in and stuff like that. And the, the, the library is growing all the time. Mm -hmm. Once you have a subscription, you have access to all the videos that are on the sites. While you're on the subscription, all the new content is yours too. Mm -hmm. You have access to subscribers-only videos that nobody can buy except if you're a subscriber. Okay. And uh, you have access to the forum, which is um, all information, no ego. No okay. flaming. <laughs> right. uh, we made sure that uh -huh. uh, we will kick out anybody who starts to flame or starts to be rude or starts to uh, post information that's not vetted. Nice. We don't want that. We want it to be a true community and mm -hmm. we work very hard at that. And then this new feature that's coming out in a couple of weeks called The Lab, where you'll be able to have access to full sessions, stems and session files with plugins and settings <laughs> with background info on the, on the song and links to uh, final mixes and links to... Um, which purchase the final song if you want to, and you'll be able to have access to this entire library of songs to play with, Very which nice. is impossible to find. Like yeah. really high quality, extremely well recorded, high level talent from all over the world, mm -hmm. where you just have access to that for being a pure mix subscriber. What a great resource. It's fun. Congratulations. And thank you very much. Thanks for coming in, Fab. Thanks Always for having a pleasure. me. Same here. Thanks for joining me on the Sweetwater Minute. I hope you'll check out the puremix.net videos. They really are well done. It's a tremendous resource as you're learning how to record. I'm Mitch Gallagher, Editorial Director at Sweetwater.